it's a blessing. Uh, like you said, we got a lot of guys here. Uh, like I said, it just speaks volumes to uh, the hard work we put in. Uh, it's the level of talent we had all year. Jay, what was the Senior Bowl experience like for you, and how do you think that kind of helped you? Get going in the draft process. Yeah, you know, it was, it was a blessing, you know, competing against the best uh, O-linemen, uh, competing with the best, uh, you know, D-linemen in the country. So it was fun, like I said, it helped me a lot, um, you know, learn a lot of different things from the coaches, uh, the interviews and whatnot. So it was a great experience. You had a chance to speak with the Texans while you are here? Uh, yes, I think I did speak with them. Is that a formal or? No, it was a formal. Jalen, what was it like being able to come off of the national championship and being able to put on the pads one last time? going down to Mobile for the Senior Bowl. Do you think that for a lot of the Michigan guys, there are some guys that decided to sit out of the Senior Bowl. What was one thing that motivated you to still be able to participate even after a long season like that? Yeah, you know, uh, just the opportunity to you know, put on the wing helmet one more time. Like I said, competing against the best of the best and uh, prove yourself uh, when it comes to drops, draft stock and stuff like that. So, like I say, you know, it was, it was a great experience. Like I say, you know, just coming off the, uh, the national championship a couple weeks before. But like I said, it was great getting out there again, you know, running around and uh, competing uh, with the best of the best. What was one or two guys that out there that really stood out to you on the offensive side of the ball? What could be one-on-one -on -one sessions? What could be team sessions of a game that really, like, stood out to you? Like, compared to your time in college, like, in their play, like, oh, this guy's a really good blocker. I have to bring my A game against him. Because he can get me. Yeah, i say some of the some of the best blockers that I went against probably um, Talese uh, Fuaga. Aga and uh, me and um, Kingsley from uh, BYU, we, we had a good matchup too. So, good. You guys fun. still uh, keep in touch with Aiden over the years? Oh, yeah, I, I still chop it up with Aiden uh, here yeah. every now and then. Does he give you any advice kind of when it comes to the draft process or anything like that? Are you guys just kind of talking? No, nah, we just really just keep talking. Really. Gotcha. Do you, do you, uh, who have you met formally so far? Uh, I have met any formals. Uh, the first day of formals was yesterday. We didn't have any interviews yesterday. Okay, this is all just getting going, but when you kind of look at this and what it all is, what's kind of your reaction to the enormity of this thing? Can you repeat that, please? What's kind of your reaction to the enormity of this thing? When you kind of look around, what's this combine? Yeah. This, this is the whole you know, process. Yeah, you know, it's just, it feels real, you know what I'm saying? You kind of see it on TV, you hear about it growing up, but now you're here really, you know, you're coming in, Indianapolis, uh, seeing all the NFL network uh, signs up and whatnot. Like I said, doing the, we had a little uh, Madden, little photo shoot, like I said the other day, so it's, it kind of just feels real, like really here now, and uh, like I said, just put your best foot forward and uh, go, go do it. Is, is this also a childhood dream to be here? I know you want to win championships and get to the league, but, but this is an experience all its own. Is this kind of a dream? Yeah, too? it's definitely a dream. Like I say, you know, uh, not everyone's uh, blessed or fortunate to, uh, to be here, so you got to take it all in, uh, soak it all in, and, and seize every opportunity, and like I said, so it's definitely a dream of mine, and I'm just glad to be here and excited for the opportunity. Jalen, what was it like playing under Jesse Minter? You know, uh, Coach Coach Man, that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, great, great defensive coordinator. Uh, he put us in the best positions to, to win and uh, succeed and, and get production. So I, I'm forever, I'm forever grateful for Coach Minter for all he did. How would you describe uh, Coach Harbaugh? Uh, you know, unique personality. Uh, you will probably hear about it. Uh, you know, goofy guy, but like I said, players coach. You know, he's a winner, so uh, he's gonna have those guys ready to go. When, when teams leave here this week, what do you want them to know about you? Uh, you know, uh, when it comes to like off the field, you know, it's a great character, a guy you can have, have in the locker room. And then when it, when it comes to on the field, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a smooth athlete. Um, I'm fluid through, through all drills and, uh, and stuff like that. So really just you know, just put my best foot forward when it comes to uh, character off the field and uh, just my performance on, on the field. Who's a couple of guys that you like to watch through in the league when it comes to like replicating pass rush moves? And what would you say are kind of like one or two of your like go-to moves as a flat pass rusher? I like to watch like Alex Highsmith and uh, I watch a little bit of Nick Bosa too, just the way they set up their moves. Like Alex Highsmith, his get off is so crazy. Then Nick Bosa is more technical, so I like to kind of mix it up between the two. Speaking of Alex Highsmith, have you been able to have a conversation with Denzel Martin of the Pittsburgh years in an informal meeting or any of the Oh, I, I, I had a talk with the, uh, the outside backers coach and the D-line coach. Uh, was it two days ago? All right. Yeah. Jalen, when you reflect on the Rose Bowl and prepping for Bama, what do you think you guys were able to do to kind of stop them, slow them down in that game? I feel like we just had a great game plan. Uh, like I said, Coach Mentor, he dialed up a, a, a great game plan. Uh, we knew uh, Jalen Moore was, was a focal point in their offense. And, uh, we had to do what we needed to do to, uh, to limit him, not say shut him down, but limit him. So I feel like we just had a great game plan. We executed at a high level. Jalen, what did you take away from your week at the Senior Bowl? Uh, you know, it was fun. Like I said, like I keep saying, it was fun, uh, competitive, and uh, you know, I just learned a lot of different things, and I uh, was able to go against the best of the best talent, and just grow and get better, and uh, I felt like I got better every single day, and learn from the coaches and whatnot, so I felt like it was just a great experience.
Dylan, could you talk about the leadership of Coach Harbaugh and just working through adversity and yeah. you know some controversy this year? Yeah, I feel like coaches had us prepared for all for all the all the nonsense we, we, we uh, dealt with. So I feel like you know, coach, like I say, he's a player's coach. Uh, he's gonna have you have you ready to go. Um, like I said, the leadership he brings uh, to the locker room to the players is, you know, what I'm saying like it's, it's great leadership. Uh, he's gonna have his guys like respectable, like everything's gonna be done the right way. So I just feel like you know, coach is a great leader. As you reflect back on a national championship season, is there a moment or two that that really stick out to you? Moment. Shoot, probably, uh, I feel say playing at Penn State when we have Coach Harbaugh, when you find out on, off the plane, I was probably one of one of the uh, one moments I was like, yeah, like, we good, like, you know what I'm saying, like, lost a head coach and we just beat with a top five or top ten team in the country on the road in their environment, so I was like, yeah, that was one of the biggest you know, biggest ones, of all. and of course, the national championship, you know, uh, after winning that, uh, you know, that was probably one of the biggest moments. You played for new Seahawks coach Mike McDonald, yeah. a sophomore. Yeah. How would you describe him and uh, what Seahawks players should be anticipating with him now being head coach? You no, know, coach, coach Mac, Coach Mac is the same guy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Coach Mac, very smart, very intelligent. Uh, he gonna dial a lot of things up, put his players in the best position to succeed. And he's a real big uh, players coach. He gonna show up to the players and uh, he's gonna listen to what the players uh, think and whatnot. So like I said, that defense and that team is the head coach now. They're gonna be ready to roll and uh, we have a great time. You know, uh, coach, coach Mac, he's uh, real, real loose, real relaxed. And uh, yeah, like I said, he's doing a great. Jalen, have you had a chance to meet with the Bucks? Uh, no, I met with them at the Senior Bowl. Though. Senior Bowl. What did your, what were your thoughts when Coach Harbaugh left? Uh, you know, were you kind of focused on more your future, or were you surprised or not surprised? Yeah, I, I was kind of focused on my future, but uh, I feel like you know uh, it was a great opportunity for him. Uh, we, he left as a national, he brought the school national championship, so I feel like it was, it was the right time for him to, if he wanted to go to the league, I feel like it was the right time for him to you know, go pursue his uh, Super Bowl. Well, maybe it's the right time for you. He, with everything that you guys went through, he went through, the suspensions, trying to, us against everybody, I mean, is it, do you blame him? Do you, do you understand, I guess, why he maybe he wanted to go to the NFL? Yeah, I mean, like like I said, he left on a, on a high note, like we won the national championship, so we can do whatever we wanted, so, you know what I'm saying, like, he gave the university all he got, uh, we got a national championship since, was it 97 or whatnot, so, like I said, uh, I'm happy for him to go pursue his uh, Super Bowl uh, journey. Jalen, what made this the right time for you to pursue yours? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, just uh, coming in after last year, my junior year, I knew what I had to work on. Uh, you know, my coaches, you know, told me what I had to work on. You know, I heard a lot of uh, things I need to work on. And I kind of just, you know, uh, went to work in the offseason, like I said. Then looked back, you know, talked to some guys you know, that, that played in the league. And uh, they kind of talked about, like, specifically talking about like Aiden, like what made him his jump from, like, his junior and his senior, his product, production wise, like when it comes to sacks and whatnot, like what was his biggest jump? Like what was his biggest like focal point and whatnot? I kind of just took that stuff and then like, I just put it all together this year and uh, I was able to just build on uh, a couple a couple of good seasons uh, in Arbor and uh, myself in a position where I, where I could be where I'm at right now. Like, Jalen, you said Coach Harbaugh is kind of funny sometimes. Do you have a good example of maybe one time he cracked a joke? Everybody want a story. <laughs> uh, Nah, he, he got so many I can't even think. But uh, Braden was telling me at his in-home visit that uh, he like got a whole haircut. He got a he like he like he big on like glass of milk and like red meat and stuff. So I guess Braden's mom's a stylist. He was just telling me the other night actually with roommates. Braden's mom's a stylist and uh, you know coach is chilling on the couch at his in-home visit. She was, he was like, uh, you know, Miss Terry, you got some uh, some scissors? Cut my hair, so I guess coach got a haircut and was drinking glass of milk in his house on the home, in home visit. So, kind of one of the best, the best stories I got. Jalen, have you had a chance to meet with the Cowboys yet? Yeah, I, I met with the Cowboys. I actually talked with a new D line coach. Uh, seems like a great great guy and uh, great energy. So, yeah, I feel like. Is it formal? Nah, formal. Jalen, because of the rotation that you guys had at Michigan, the, the defensive line rotation, you guys don't have the big numbers. Do NFL scouts talk to you about that? Or, you know, why don't why did you have you know 14 sacks or anything like that? Nah, not really. I feel like the tape speak for itself. When they saw like we was rotating a lot, we had a lot of great guys, you know, on the whole defense. So they don't, they don't really talk too much about production. Really, it's kind of like I don't know. 
thing I realized, like, production matters, but also, like, what traits can you bring to the league? So I feel like it's, a, it's two things that go hand-in-hand. Hand. What do you hope to show scouts this week? Yeah, like like I said earlier, you know, I uh, just want to show off the field, you know, great character, um, great guy to have in the locker room, uh, bring, you know, with a mentality, you know, just a great, great culture to the locker room and on the field, you know, just show how, how fluid of an athlete I am uh, when it comes to the drills and, you know, uh, testing stuff and whatnot like that. So I'm really just able to show uh, how fluid I am and, uh, like I said, just how coachable I am and all that stuff. Just, just show I'm a great person all around. Did you talk about Sharon Moore a little bit? Yeah, Coach Moore, uh, him and Coach Harbaugh, you know, Coach Harbaugh's going to be goofy. Coach Moore got that energy, bring that juice. So, like I say, you know, Coach Moore's going to do a great job. He already, like I say, it wasn't really no interview process needed. His interview was some four games or how many ever games he uh, was our head coach. Like I say, he did a great job, you know, just leading us uh, when, we, when we didn't have Coach Harbaugh. So, like I say, he's going to be a great coach uh, for those guys. He's going to have them guys ready to roll this uh, come up fall. What, uh, what was Mike McDonald like here? He was a defensive coordinator for you guys. Yeah, you know, Coach Mack, uh, kind of chill. Uh, you know, uh, chill. But like I said, uh, he gonna push you. And uh, players coach, uh, real cool guy. Uh, he's gonna have his uh, players in the position to succeed uh, at the highest level. So like I said, you know, Coach Max gonna have those guys in uh, Seattle ready to roll and uh, I'm excited for him. I feel like you have home field advantage this week almost, having played here three times, you got 17 teammates here. Yeah, it, it feels a, feel a little different coming back to Indy. You know, I, I've been here a few times, so like I said, it just feels good being back here, but uh, this time uh, around, it's a, it's a little more serious, so uh, yeah. Here's a guy going back to Michigan next year that we're not talking about right now, but obviously a lot of you guys have left, so they're going to get an opportunity to uh, shine next year. Uh, I'm not talking about. i got to go under the radar. Uh, defense, offense, what you want? Whoever uh, floats broke. I'll go, I'll go D-line. Uh, you guys know about Josiah and Derek. Uh, TJ Guy. Uh, What's that about TJ? You know, TJ, uh, he's got great traits. Uh, he's athletic. Uh, he can move and whatnot. So I feel like he's gonna put it all together this year. And uh, also, uh, Eno had a, uh, you know, he's he's, he's very big. Kind of reminds me of Quiddy Pay a little bit. Uh, very explosive, very big, powerful, and whatnot. So I feel like uh, he's gonna have a uh, great spring. And um, like I said, it's gonna propel him to uh, get a rotation. You mentioned Josiah too. Yeah. What was it like just him, him getting to campus and yeah. kind of getting worked into the culture? What did you notice from him right away? You know, Stu, man, like I said, he's going to have a great year. Uh, you know, Stu, man, he, he's not the typical like stature that you might see, think of like an edge guy, but man, he come with a pop. Uh, he's got, he's very explosive off the ball. Uh, got an arsenal of moves, and uh, like I said, man, I'm looking forward to him and Derek having, having a huge season. They, they definitely uh, do do a lot of great things this year. You guys had like? those had those rally groups, so maybe not yeah. able to uh, stack up all the stats. Anthony was asking Brayden yeah. about that, I guess. Um, how have you guys been able to sort of still? Tell yourselves, or I guess, sort of show the tape when when you are. Um, yeah, on you the feel floor. me? Like, like so that's just cool and all, but I feel like the, the lead, they like watching the tape. Like the tape speaks for itself. Like you hear about guys sometimes getting like two sacks and going first round or something like that. So, like I said, it, it's a lot of like hand to hand, like production matters, but also like traits. Like, what can you bring like to an NFL team? Like, maybe that's you, like your potential and stuff like that. So, I feel like that's one of the good things. And, and and just know, I, I guess. Do you guys benefit being sort of the latest in a, in a Michigan defensive line that I guess this is sort of a yearly thing, like 18 guys is, is new, but yeah. a handful of defensive linemen being here yeah. is not. You know, I just feel like it just speaks volumes to uh, the year we're able to have uh, the coaches putting, you know, putting us in positions, uh, being coached up the right way, uh, just being led the right way. So I just feel like uh, it just speaks volumes to the year we were able to have as a team, uh, as a unit up front. Like I say, yeah, we had a lot of our rally groups, uh, fresh legs, and um, just were able to put our best foot forward and the best things on tape. Jalen, have you met with the Bengals? And also, like, when you look at your entire uh, you know, football career, did you ever play any different positions? Yeah, I actually did meet with the, the Bengals. Um, and also, uh, yeah, I played running back, uh, linebacker, back middle linebacker, and tight end. And, uh, yeah, in high school, I played all three of those, running back, linebacker, tight end. I played a little bit at the end. High school. I, I didn't really play D. I just played a uh, linebacker and a uh, running back. And another question is, when you look at you know your film, if you can point out one uh, play to show to an NFL team that you know ex is your example of who you are as a player, do you have a specific play that you would point to? Specific play, uh, or even your favorite play. One that like jumps off is like the last play Ohio State where I uh, knife inside and ran over the guard. And, uh, 
Rod got the interception, so that probably would have you know, one of the profound plays, I feel like. What was it like preparing for a guy like Jalen Milrow? And you guys were able to you know, slow him down pretty good. You know, uh, preparing for him is it, kind of one of those weeks, like a little bit of a boring week. Because like I say, you know, uh, you got to have to like keep him in the pocket like you can't really go out there and be freelance freelance and whatnot so you just got to stick to the script and uh, just do your one 111 like i said so you, if you go inside he's gonna go outside for for 90 yards so you really just gotta it was, it was really hard you know preparing for him but i feel like we did a great job executing uh come on um, when we play the monday or what or whatnot so i just feel like we did, we did a great job of executing the game plan and uh we were unselfish and i feel like as a unit we're able to go out there and make plays as, as a whole collective team the amount of turnover that Michigan has this offseason, is there anything about the program that gives you confidence that they can sustain the legacy that you guys built? Yeah, like I said, you know, uh, they, got, they got Coach Ward. You know, they got a lot of great great guys, great young guys coming back, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, they, they're going to be in great hands off. And also the offensive side of the ball, they're going to do great as well. But uh, like I said, they has got a lot of great young guys, uh, that are young leaders uh, that are coming back. So I find they're going to be in great hands. And they got you know, uh, Coach Moore back, so they're going to be good. They also got a great uh, new staff. So. What's Alabama getting in a guy like Keon Sack? Man, Key, man, yeah, bro. Key, Key he's nice. He's nice. Uh, you know, Key's very explosive. Um, you know, great ball skills. I, I, I seen that. Uh, Y'all able to see the national championship. It's, it's what he can do. You know, uh, being behind, not behind, but like rotating with guys like Rodney McCarty, it's kind of hard for him. You know put on full display like what he was able to do but I feel like y'all able to get a taste of it in the national championships like I said man you will be a, a great great uh, locker room a uh, quiet guy chill guy like I say he's, he's a great player all around and uh he'll do big things at Bama for sure I'm excited for him okay, how, how can a guy like Justin Tress fill the shoes of a guy like that yeah I feel like you know uh I don't know about filling shoes. He's he's a great he's a great strength coach, but uh, coach Coach Herb was different. But uh, coach Tr Coach Trash, man, he's been right in it in the thick of things. So like I said, he's gonna do a great job. Uh, you know what? He's very smart, very intelligent. Uh, pushes us uh, all the time. So he's gonna do a great job, and uh, he's got a great staff around him. So I feel like uh, you know, the strength program is gonna be in great hands. And like I said, I feel like he learned a lot of great things from uh, Coach Herb, and uh, Coach Herb definitely gonna continue to be in his ear. So he's gonna do a great job for sure. You went to Berkeley Prep, right? Yeah. How would you describe uh, Florida high school football to somebody that doesn't know? Yeah, Florida high school football, real competitive. Uh, like I said, uh, we had a lot of pretty good guys come out of there. We had Nelson Aguilar, uh, Nick Petit. Uh, we just played a lot of great um, uh, competition, and uh, it, was, it was a great experience. So I feel like Florida football, uh, best football in the country. So uh, I just speak volumes for all the guys that you know uh, they got in the league. We have in the league and whatnot. So I just feel like Florida football is very competitive. Uh, it's going to get the best out of you. Braden Jaylen, said it, you, it feels like Shem up here. That's what Braden said. Is that, is that, what, is that what it feels like to you right now? <laughs> Bro, yeah. Like, it feels like home, like I said. I've been here, uh, what is it, three times or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it definitely feels like home. Just coming in and uh, walking in the stadium, you know, looking around. Just kind of got that same feeling when I was here, too. Uh, it was in November playing I Iowa. So, uh, I feel like, you know, uh, it does feel like home uh, being in here. Jaylen, you guys got Jaylen, a, a chance the, uh, to see any of the... Had you had a chance to see any of your Michigan guys out of here? You guys, yeah, you guys yeah, I, I ran into like, uh, a good amount of them earlier. Uh, so I saw him a little bit last night, and I saw I just saw Mikey this morning. Especially with the connection between Michigan and the Ravens, how much did you study the Ravens at all, and any, did anything stick out about their defense this year? Uh, I always I studied them more like when Coach Mack first got to Michigan, just kind of seeing like how they because you like run their defense. So I was kind of you know, seeing how they run stuff. I was watching guys like Judon because he kind of like played my position. So yeah, and, um, it kind of just worked hand in hand. Uh, they have a great scheme, you know, it's the same scheme I ran in college. So it's a great scheme, and, uh, and I feel like uh, they put their guys in a great position. To, uh, receive a lot of production and uh, just, just succeed at a high level. Do you feel like you guys are kind of changing the game a bit with the way both teams play defense? Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a growing tree, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not sure who started before Coach Mack, but you know, Coach Mack, now Coach Menders in the league, so I just feel like it's, a, it's an up-and-coming tree that's uh, becoming hot right now. It's hot right now. I think the Ravens have like number one, number two defense in the, in the whole entire NFL, so yeah. I think we have the number one defense in the college, so I just feel like it's a growing tree and uh, it's a great defense. Kim, what have you heard from teams not on the Baltimore tree about how they maybe want to use you, like in a different scheme or something like that? What have you heard from those kind of teams? Uh, as far as like three, four, four. Yeah, five. yeah. What have, like, how do they want to use you? Yeah, you know, uh, 
not every team runs uh, the Baltimore tree, right. but also some other teams run a version of three down and four down mix. So I just feel like uh, just, just being in the best fit uh, for myself, uh, you know, teams, uh, they think I have the ability to do four down as well, but, uh, you know, I, I'm very versatile. You know, I can drop, I can right. set the edge and rush. So it's kind of just feeling the, just seeing the spot where I, where you I covered a lot like the last couple years you dropped yeah. like yeah. how comfortable are you with that yeah, and how very, much more do you think teams because I don't think that many teams maybe don't know a lot about that but you yeah. think you could show more of that yeah would you repeat that please? could you think you could show more of that your coverage skills yeah I feel like, I, feel like I, dro thing. I dropped a good amount I got a, I got a lot of it on tape so uh, yeah. I feel like teams will feel picking that up on that yeah, yeah we'll feel comfortable with dropping out what's your pitch to a high school guy that might be considering this year pitch to a high school guy uh, you know if you want to come, be coached and uh, developed and uh, just be around the right people and the right culture, uh, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, uh, it, it's an easy pitch. You know, we just won a national championship. Um, we have a great culture, great identity, and a uh, great history. Uh, so I feel like, you know, uh, there's no other place to be uh, but Michigan. So that's my pitch to you. You mentioned uh, Ben Herbert. It seems like he has a reputation. What was it like for him? Coach, Coach Herb, man, we, we locked in, man. That's my guy. You know, like I said, Coach Herb, uh, if you don't know him, uh, you might be a little, a little intimidated by him uh, when you walk into him. But go go to Herb, he's going to bring the best out of you. Uh, he's always going to uh, get your body right. Uh, you know, Coach Herb, he changed my life, uh, changed my body around so much. Man, I'm forever great for him. And I'm excited for uh, him being at the Chargers as well. That's good for him. Jalen, last question, please. When you look at Michigan, I mean, what do you think oh, yeah. needs to happen for them to sustain the success? Well, <laughs> Kind of going. I feel like they just need to do, keep doing what they're doing. Uh, don't change up. Uh, like I said, they got a lot of great young guys coming back. Uh, they got a great coaching staff. So, like I said, just keep doing what they're doing. And um, like I said, just don't get, get complacent, uh, don't, which I know they won't. But uh, like I said, they're going to do a great job this year. And um, got a lot of great young pieces coming back. And uh, they're going to do a great job again this year. I'm excited for them. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Sure. you can take that with you as a souvenir. Thank you. Thanks, Jay.